Am I late? Do you want to just do it for now? Should we call Beer Friend? Beer Friend! Beer Friend Paul. Beer Friend Paul. Beer Beer friend Paul. Friend Paul. Beer on Twitter. Right <laughs> here. It's a fronting face. Hey, I'm Brad. I'm Greg. I'm uh, Beer Friend Paul. <laughs> In case you hadn't known, I'm Phil. Good God. <laughs> You um, have a microphone on this is like... Uh, I know, that's why I gotta yell to it. No, you don't. Know, that's why you don't have the yell to it. It's gonna suck because I'm gonna have to adjust the volume every time you talk. Uh, so today we're joining the Craft Beer Can Revolution and we're doing Upslope Brewing Company from Boulder, Colorado. Wonderful cans. Okay. Where the coppery color indicative of a traditional Pretty IPA, strange. Upslope IPA has a complex multi-character and most well balanced and, and, and more well balanced than most IPAs. Did you read the ingredients? <laughs> uh, so you, no, you can give the ingredients, Greg. Well, the ingredients say this is a very unique one. I think we all kind of agree this is a must-have for any beer. Uh, I believe it's called snow melt. Snow melt, snow melt is important. <laughs> very yeah. important. That is the first it's ingredient. Like yeah. rain water. It's malt, malt, hops, yeast, Patagonian hops. That's right. And the, the specs That's might right. be the best. <laughs> specs are handcraft. Aluminum can, <laughs> portable, <laughs> true, recycle, and the favorite one, good. good. It remains good. to be seen. Rounds remains to be seen. It rounds out the hand. Yeah, yeah, the details on this one are our IPA will appear to the beer enthusiast who desires a bold, deep, bitter ale with a coppery color indicative of a traditional IPA. So, why are you talking? Just drink. No, 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 I'm not ready yet. <laughs> But back to the beer. Back to the beer! So, it says it's got uh, citrus hops and caramel sweetness. Uh, it's nice. Honestly, I taste more of the It's actually, than that. it's mm. not as dark as I thought most Indian pale ales would be. It's a little light, more of an amber color in my um, opinion. It's like, it's about the, the middle. I, I mean, I, you see so much. Uh, so, uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a rating. Um, Upslope Brewing Company out of Boulder, Colorado. This is their India Pale Ale. It's number two out of four. Um, very delicious in cans. Um, we've talked a lot about. I'm actually going to give this an 8.5. Uh, it's pretty delicious. Um, I would love to see what they could do with like a double IPA because, and I say that because this is 7-2 wow. and you can't taste the alcohol in it at all. Um, and so like doubling it would probably be... <laughs> 14! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dude, a glass! <laughs> putting, putting this above 8, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be probably just as smooth because we're 0.8 away from it anyway. Right. I mean, yeah. and so and so they they certainly know what they're doing. Um, I like, uh, this is another um, this is another small brewery that I want to see grow. Yeah. And I want to see how they grow. Kind of like Six Point in which they started with you know only growlers and uh, drafts, and then they slowly moved into cans. And we kind of got to see how that process happened, and then they went into the seasonals and stuff like that. Um, Upslope is another one that like you know Colorado folks beware. Watch this bro uh, this uh, brewery grow and see what choices they make and how interesting it gets because I'm sure Upslope has some sort of like brewmasters reserve that they do their own crazy stuff with. Sure. You know it's got to be just as good as the stuff that they put out. So uh, kind of see how they grow and see what they do and see if they decide to put like a um, you know special release or some sort of seasonal out there. Right. But um, right now they've got a pale ale, they've got an Indian pale ale, a brown, and a, and um, a lager. And a lager, and it has a lager, the pale, and the Indian pale ale, and it's all good. So, eight five. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. I, I think uh, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's bad or like that. It, it, for me, it's easy drinking. The, the key thing to me is that I would not be able to guess the ingredients at all. Seven two. I would have guessed maybe five, six, the yeah. IPA. At uh, the most six, at least five. Uh, and that's, to me, is, is phenomenal. And like you said, if they can get that thing to double IPA, that could be an all day drinker thing. And then you pass out. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think the, the, the I do get a, a little aluminum taste here. I, I love beer in cans. I think that's probably the best way to handle it. Um, 8.0. Eight, eight, 8 that's pretty good stuff to me. Yeah, I'm going to join you. But uh, you know, I can't, I can't give it the Colorado bump that Brad gave it to the A5, which is fine. I mean, yeah, it really is. And that, that's fine. I understand. I understand. You probably Oregon beer. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> Every Oregon beer so gets an 11. It's 11. 11. You from Oregon or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Sadly. Like, either way, it's ah. pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I can give it an 8. Because okay. it's an 8 for me. I can't give it the Colorado bump. That's why you cut up everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like it. I, I, I liked it a lot. It's got. Uh, oh, who's there? Who's talking? It's a creeper. 
I really like this beer. I like it a lot. I like uh, I like the website. I like what they're kind of going with. They got a good sense of humor about them. They got a good character about them. The beer's real tasty. Mm -hmm. It's <clears throat> it gets a little maltier than I expected. Get an IPA. It's, it's like it's, I have no problem with. That's not a no, problem. No. I, I like it a lot. <clears throat> I, like I said, I I guess I was unassuming about the can. Like I kind of looked at the can. I was like, eh, it seems plain. It seems it seems this. Like, we had that. Yeah, don't judge your book by your cover. I understand. My mother used to always tell me that. <laughs> That's it. Eight. I, I really like it. I'd really like to have uh, more of this. So I'd like. I would like to have this beer in my fridge. This is a beer I would want in my fridge right now. Like, I uh, am going to agree with Mr. Driscoll. Yeah, I'm going to rate it an eight five just so I can rate it higher right, than you. you but I also Colorado agree bump. with you. You gave him that Colorado bump because you've been there. No, it's true. That's part of it. But I also want to be better than you. Uh, some respect. Not, but uh, what I was yeah. thinking while you were giving your review is yeah. that this, yeah, the more I thought about it, because I was a little a little shocked about the lack of the hops part of it for being an IPA. Not an issue though, because it's such a, it, it's just, it's delicious, it's light, it's it's well rounded, it's, it's just awesome. there, it doesn't linger like we're talking about, yeah. it's just there, it's just bam, you drink it, you're good, and you go, and you just do something else with another one in your hand before you know it. And being 7.2%, it's like, that, that's unreal. This is a high contender for a top spot as a six point, or a, not six point, as a six pack in my fridge at all times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Straight up. Yeah. 11 yeah, no, years before yeah, I years. was <laughs> legally obligated. <laughs> all right, so, uh, thank you. Wait, also, wait, come on. I want to say, I want to bring this up. And Phil did just say legally obligated. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a full that, supporter but. of the craft brew industry. So, uh, Upslope Brewing Company, keep doing what you're doing. Get out east so we can try your stuff. Upslope yeah. Brewing, before Good you luck, get guys. out east. Send us a six pack of each of the ones that you did. Now you're just pandering. Yes, I know. Good luck.